guys, so I'm always reading your comments and one celeb you've requested a house tour on is none other than Chris Brown, and his mansion in Tarzan is pretty impressive. Chris's $4.3 million California estate is actually a smart house, but we'll look at it in just a little bit. From what I've seen, Chris's mansion definitely reflects him from his insane car collection on display to the graffiti art walls. Chris also has 16 security cameras which makes sense considering he's released his address to the public in the past. Anyone remember Chris's yard sale last year? Chris Brown is best known as a hip hop artist and he's also a songwriter, dancer and even an actor. He's been named one of the best selling music artists worldwide and sold over 100 million records. He also has plenty of awards under his belt, one of which happens to be a Grammy. At the moment Chris is 30 years old and has two kids. Breezy has also been caught up in plenty of drama over the years, but we'll leave all that out. Chris has come a long way since his humble beginnings in Tappahannock, Virginia, but singing and dancing have been part of his life since he was a kid. Back then, he definitely didn't live in a multi-million dollar mansion though, that's for sure. These days, Chris's estimated net worth is around 50 million US dollars and his Instagram following is just slightly higher at 60 million. But with his kind of bank, you know Chris's mansion has gotta be fancy. Hey guys, it's Kara and today we're doing another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. We're gonna look at where Chris Brown calls home, give you all the details of his smart mansion in Tarzana and more. If you like these videos, make sure you're subscribed and ring that bell to be notified when we post so you can always be up to date. We've also done house tours on the likes of Jay-Z and Beyonce, Drake, and we'll have links to those at the end of this. Be sure to follow me on Instagram because I love connecting with you guys. I've also been reading all your comments and I'm gonna be responding to some at the end of this. I need you to let me know who to do next in the comments down below and whose home you'd like to see. Now let's get into this video. First off, I'm not sure exactly what the house Chris grew up in as a kid looked like, but it was just your average family home. As I mentioned, Chris grew up in Tappahannock, Virginia, and his father Clinton, who was a corrections officer, still lives there. Clinton has opened up to interviews before in the past and showed off some photos of Chris when he was just a little kid. He brought interviewers into his home and it's possible that that's the same house Chris lived in as a child. We also know that Chris bought his mama a house for one mil when he was only 15 years old. Well, we don't know much about what Chris his family home as a kid looked like, but we do know where he lived prior to his Tarzana mansion. Let's look at Breezy's previous home. Back in 2011, Chris bought a house in Hollywood Hills for 1.5 mil, which doesn't sound like a lot at all these days. The home was built in 2008 and was about 3,000 square feet with three beds and three baths. It was such a bachelor pad for Chris considering it was after his huge breakup with Rihanna. The decor even looked the part with all white and chrome interior for the most part. Chris's old Hollywood home could be accessed with an elevator considering it was four or more stories high. The house, designed by architect Jay Vanos, was super modern with glass walls, high ceilings and beautiful views of the LA skyline. Inside the house, Chris had all the high-tech features necessary, including state-of-the-art home automation systems and audio and video security systems. His master suite was on the top level of the home and was completely visible to the attached ensuite bathroom, thanks to Florida ceiling glass all around. The master bathroom had a glass shower stall too, of course, and a double sink vanity. Other features of Chris's old Hollywood house included an art studio, a loft, and a fancy kitchen. Outside, there was a massive saltwater pool and spa that could be illuminated by colorful LED lights, as well as a fire pit, stone waterfalls, and an outdoor projection screen. In case you didn't know, Chris loves graffiti art and it's also pretty prominent in his current place, which I'll show you soon. They repainted the exterior of this home before Chris put it on the market, but according to the listing, some interior walls still had cartoon-like characters painted on them. Apparently the neighbors weren't a fan of Chris's graffiti art all over the house, because I guess at one point it was on the exterior too. In the end, Chris sold this Hollywood home for 1.9 million. And that Hollywood Hills house wasn't the only property Chris sold in LA. Around the same time in 2011 to 2014, Chris owned a penthouse in Hollywood too. He sold it in an off-market deal for 1.6 million, which is the same price he bought it, partly because he had some alleged noise complaints. I mean, if neighbors are complaining about the noise when you have an entire penthouse to yourself, it must be pretty damn loud. The residents even reported Chris many times for constant partying, hallway dog races, and parking in handicapped spots. 
Anyways, Chris's penthouse was located in West Hollywood, which is a pretty trendy and fun area. If you stood out on the large balcony, you would be overlooking Sunset Boulevard. So Chris was right in the action. The penthouse took up the entire top floor of the building, naturally, and had over 3,000 square feet of living space. Chris's penthouse had three beds and 3.5 baths, as well as a lot of natural light thanks to a ton of windows all around the unit. Some features of his condo included an ensuite bathroom for each room, a bar, an art studio, and an office. After Chris dumped both of those properties, he was free to move on to his current mansion in Tarzana. Maybe he was over Hollywood and those angry neighbors. Just when you may have thought Chris was ready for a fresh start with a new home outside of Hollywood and away from the drama, it seems like the drama still followed him to his current place. Well, going on 13 hours now, it all started a little after 3 o'clock in the morning when a woman reportedly said that Chris Brown pointed a gun at her. She went outside, called 911, a squad car arrived, and we've been at that way ever since. Now, from the air, you can see the uh, mansion. Uh, Chris Brown ca calls it his palace, palace on top of a hill in, in Tarzana. It is isolated from the rest of the neighborhood, but this neighborhood, of course, has been completely blocked off. Police have been going in and out practically all day long. As you mentioned, Chris Brown is in that home with his attorney. We don't know if he's cooperating don't know if he's been questioned because police quite frankly haven't told us much going on hour number 13 now I don't even know if that actually happened but look you can see how nice Chris's palace is oh and don't forget when Chris got robbed at this mansion too and his aunt was locked in a closet she was asked about the location of a safe and other valuables then put into a closet while the 8300 square foot house valued at almost three million dollars was ransacked Besides all of that, this is still Chris's current place he calls home, so let's take a look. Chris bought this place in 2015 for around $4.3 million, so it was a definite upgrade from his last two places. His palace, as he likes to call it, is situated at the top of a hill, so he's far away from any neighbors who might say his music is too loud. However, after the police were over at Chris's place one too many times, one neighbor did express his feelings, saying, I think he's a piece of, he's rude, first of all, and then continue I'll come walking out with my friends at 12 o'clock. I get home at 12 o'clock from work. He'll be out here with his stupid little friends and their stupid little cars revving their engines. So I guess the consensus over time is that Breezy is a really lousy neighbor, no matter how much distance there is between the houses. This home is in Tarzana, California, which is a Los Angeles neighborhood located in the San Fernando Valley area. It's named after Tarzan himself, if you didn't know. Even though it's out of Hollywood these days, the homes in Tarzana go for an average of six mils, so it ain't cheap. Chris's multi-million dollar mansion in Tarzana is 8,300 square feet and has six beds and six baths. The total property spans over 32,000 square feet, so just a bit under an acre. From the aerial views of his home, you can see the land is pretty spacious. Chris's mansion is supposed to be green, solar powered, and a smart house, which means it includes a bunch of security cameras, 16 to be exact, a state-of-the-art alarm system, and more. 16 cameras just reminded me of some weird movie I watched, but that was 14 cameras. I'll bet I'm the only one who's seen that though. If Chris's house was such a secure and smart house, then how did he get robbed while he was away? And how did his aunt get stuffed in the closet? I guess we'll never know. When you enter Chris's mansion, you're greeted by a two-story entryway or foyer, whatever you want to call it. There's a grand staircase to take you upstairs where most of the bedrooms are. Throughout the house, there are plenty of glass walls and large balconies so you can take advantage of the beautiful view. The master suite, of course, has its own private terrace. Some other features inside Chris's mansion include living family and dining spaces, as well as a mysterious bonus room and wood and stone floors throughout. Of course, he has a home movie theater with 14 reclining seats and a 120 inch screen too. Chris's mansion has a massive three car garage and outside he has an additional motor court for 10 cars. I know that he must love this part of his palace because Chris is obsessed with his wheels. Also outside the mansion, there's an outdoor living room with a full kitchen, three fire pits, an expansive lawn, and of course, a saltwater swimming pool, spa, and waterfall. What more could you ask for? More recently, we can see that Chris has definitely made this house his own and decorated in his usual fashion. Of course, there's more graffiti art too. Chris also has multiple walk-in closets because he has one of the most insane and biggest shoe collections. I wonder what closet space his girl has, or if she gets any. So now we've seen Chris Brown's mansion in Tarzana, as well as the homes he used to live at in Hollywood. Seems like Chris is staying put at his current house and not running away from his neighbors. His neighbors allegedly still don't like him, and he still got robbed here a couple years back, but I guess Chris really loves his palace. 
He's even shared his Citrus Ridge Drive address with fans last year and invited fans to an exclusive yard sale on his driveway. Of course, this was yet another way that Chris managed to piss neighbors off considering the huge crowd swarming the neighborhood and lining up outside. But apparently this was for a good cause, so maybe they shouldn't be mad. Either way, Chris seems pretty proud to show off his multi-million dollar mansion in Tarzana, complete with his much-loved graffiti art, insane sneaker closets, and his car collection. What did you guys think about Chris's house? Let me know in the comments. First of all, I love you guys and I love reading all of your comments and suggestions. So now I'll read some from previous bits. On our Harry Styles house tour, Carolyn Bickley said, Harry is a delightful young man, loving and caring and so thoughtful. Also very hardworking. He deserves this after all he's earned it. Good luck to him. And also on the same Harry Styles vid, Rebecca Hernandez said, My favorite would be his hometown house. There's always something special about where you grew up, good or bad. Very true, Rebecca. I love my childhood home as well, and I still love the neighborhood. And finally, on our Lady Gaga house tour, Ada Brooks commented saying, I absolutely loved her mansion. It's very beautiful. Alright guys, that's all I could find on Chris Brown's multi-million dollar mansion in Tarzana and the homes he used to live in. Did you guys like his mansion? What were your favorite parts? I think the house itself is gorgeous, but his decor is a bit too boyish for me. Be sure to tell me in the comments as well as what other celebrity houses you'd like to see. Follow me on Instagram if you want to chat more and I'll see you next time with some more videos. Bye!